Yo, what's up guys? Taking a look at functions in Rust. And if you've seen any of my other tutorial videos on Rust so far, then you're most likely familiar with the main function. And actually in the future, I should probably do a video explaining why there needs to be a main function in Rust in general. But for now, let's just ignore that and let's look at functions as a whole. So main function, if you guys have actually generated your main function or your main.rs file with cargo, then it looks probably something just like this. And you'll notice that the letters FN are right before for the name of the main function itself. So if you had to take a wild guess what the keyword would be to declare a function in Rust, it would probably be fn, right? And that is correct. Let's take a look at making our own function using the fn keyword. So I can just say fn my function. It looks pretty similar to the structure of the main function, especially because both of them have this print line that says hello world in it. Anyway, something to note guys. So obviously, functions are declared in Rust using the fn keyword. After that, we have the name of the function itself, and then you're gonna have open close params, open close curly braces, and then obviously the code for that specific function is gonna be contained inside of those curly braces. Now, what else are some things about functions in Rust that you guys might want to know? Well, for starters, all the arguments or any type of parameter that you're gonna pass into functions in Rust when you're making the function header, which by the way, the function header is just the first line of the function, the function declaration. When you're creating that guys in Rust, all the arguments need to be type annotated. So unlike JavaScript where I could just say X comma Y in Rust, I have to tell it, hey, is this gonna be U32 X, U32 Y? And if I hover over this, you can see this is a self type given it a parameter name self. So it thinks that it thinks it's its own type, right? It thinks that I'm trying to maybe pass it some self type that was created in here, but that's not that's not what's going on. And as you can see, it's definitely erroring out. Now, if I want both these to be some type of integer variable, let's say a u32, I'm gonna have to say colon u32. And once we apply that to both of them, save it, that error goes away. And also another thing that is important is in Rust, if the function is actually going to return a value. So for instance, if it's not gonna be a void function or rather a function of a void return type, then you have to also explicitly declare that using this little arrow here, after the open close params. And then for example, guys, if I want to return a U32 data type from this function, then I would just put U32. You would do the same thing for Boolean for whatever. So let's finish this function off. Let's just add X plus Y and let's just return X plus Y. And there you go. We got a fully functioning function. And speaking of return types, guys, so let's just say your function just is a void function. So again, Kind of like main, main technically isn't returning anything. However, in Rust, the return type for a void function actually returns these open close params right here. So if you wanna go out of your way to type that for each of these functions, then you can feel free to do so. However, it's not necessary and it kind of looks kind of strange. So probably don't do that unless you're just trying to be super cool. And one last interesting thing to note about functions in Rust, if you're using an expression in Rust, then you can actually return something without having the need to have the return keyword. Here's an example of that. So if I make this is divisible function, and let's just put an if statement inside of it to check, hey, is the divisor equal to zero? If so, we'll return false. Otherwise, we will take dividend mod it with divisor, assess if it's zero, and voila, this is actually gonna get returned. Now, if you guys notice that there's no semicolon right here, that's just how this is gonna work when you have an expression that's gonna be returned from a Rust function. If I actually put a semicolon right there and I save it, you guys notice now I have this red squiggly line error up here, and then also down here as well. Click the like if you appreciated the help or not, I'm out, see ya.